Welcome to Shrop Arts from the rolling hills of South Shropshire. Now, one of today's artists swapped the stage for a paintbrush, the other his pen for a hammer. There's nothing finer than a stroll in the South Shropshire Hills. The beautiful scenery, the sounds of nature. But when our first artist built his studio near to Church Stretton, the valleys echoed with a very different sound. Roy Abbott has always had an artistic side to his life. For many years he worked in architecture, designing buildings. But for over a decade now he's been combining his skill as a designer with the art of blacksmithing. So from the architect's desk to this, how did that happen? Well, you know, as you can imagine, architectural is, is a fairly sort of hands-on design art orientated profession. And um, I just, uh, I, I've always had an interest in art and I, I just fancied doing something, you know, a little bit more tangible, hands-on from a sort of craft point of view. And I just fancied having a go at blacksmithing and, and one thing led to another to where I am now, basically. Well, I can, I can hear the forge sort of working and the machinery, but I can also hear the birds as well. And yeah. it's just beautiful here. Does that influence what you do? It certainly does, yes. Um, uh, obviously, the sort of bits from nature, flowers, organics used a lot, but certainly organic forms lend themselves to the artistry of uh, blacksmithing. A prime example of nature's influence is his ram's head table. The legs, which are made to resemble a slate fence, are forged out of red-hot metal. But to make the ram's heads, he used a very different technique. There are other processes um, using cold metal, mostly sheet metal, and a, a general term to use would be repoussé work, and the process is to develop that design by raising and punching the metal, a variety of different shapes and sizes of punches until you get your desired uh, pattern design, uh, which can be sort of traditional or contemporary. Repoussé looks a little bit beyond my hammering skills. I think I need to start with the basics. Roy, which, which end do I use? This Use end. that flat oh, okay. end. Okay. Not that no. one. <laughs> okay. We'll, for this exercise, we'll this, use this the flat one. This one. I knew that. Okay. I knew that. Get this to about a thousand degrees. Now that yellow. Right. Yeah, right at the end. Boom. Oh. Raise that hammer up. Oh. Let it. Yes, you're doing wonderfully well. Oh. That's, oh. And that's what happens. It's hard enough. Yeah, it's a move, but now we need to get some more heat. Oh, it's satisfying. <laughs> I love it. Go. <laughs> well, from something like that to something far more gentle. Beverly Fry's work has been shown in Dublin, Paris, all over England. She's recently been seen working at London Literary Festival, as well as a castle in Wales. I'm painting the Earl of Powys at the moment. Um, that began with a visit to the studio. Um, probably two and a half months ago at least. I, I was looking for somebody who, who um, didn't pour, make, it, make a, a, a painting of a photograph, but they painted from life. I need that relationship there. I can't just use photographs. But if you don't have that quality time with somebody, you don't absorb them, you don't get enough of a feeling of them when you're actually painting them and in that process of all the looking that you do, the constant looking and the seeing somebody in um, well, like a sculpture really and then you, okay so it's flat the painting but you attempt to see them and interpret them as a sculpture actually in paint and the presence of that person is, is essential. I think there is, I think there's a sort of almost three-dimensional aspect to a painting. 
um, and there is a, there is a sort of <laughs> a gradual process in that you sit and there's a painting going on all the time. So there's there's a, there's a lot of movement and change, and yet that painting is sort of holding all of that together. Uh, whereas a photograph is well, it's inherently a flat thing, isn't it? Uh, it doesn't even have the contours that a paint will put onto a canvas. I mean, everything I paint, I paint it because I love it. And so in a, in, a, in a way, you do love who you paint. I mean, it sounds a little bit sort of, but it is, yeah, there is something quite special happens in a, in a way in those moments. And it's a great honour to, to be able to sit and have somebody sit for you and paint them. It feels um, privilege, a, a really great privilege that they'll give you their time in that way and try and be as still as they can. You know, that's quite tricky. We've, we've sort of done this um, one day a week for a few weeks now. Um, it's, it's, it's a little hard on my right shoulder, but uh, I, think, I think it's mostly quite nice actually, good conversations, um, although the conversation can distract Beverly from doing what she's trying to do, so there's a sort of a balance there I think, but uh, yeah, it's very, very, very pleasant on the whole. Yeah. Bye.